Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today the camera's moving because I'm holding it because I want to show you something and I didn't want to get them all out of the drawer and such. So hold on, I'm going to move the phone. I'm going to show you. I dried these. I know, I'm trying to see <laughs> if you see anything. Okay, hold on. Uh, no, wrong angle. Okay. So I dried these, but hold on, maybe I'll do just a camera flip. Hold on. Okay, and I'm gonna put some light so you can see in the drawer. So that's my uh, multi-drawer little cart that I really love. So I dried all kinds of flowers. Um, some I dried flat in a book like these, I think they're called Baby's Breath. Anyways, I'm not gonna take them out now. I don't wanna break them. Um, more of the flowers I just showed you, like so, and the hydrangea, I, I, my, one of my neighbors must be growing them, I'm fairly certain I know who, and unfortunately, had I known, I would have asked her in the fall to cut a few, um, because, oh my goodness, they're all stuck and I only have one hand, <laughs> hold on, ah, come here you, hold on, there you go, they are absolutely gorgeous magnificent but they're in a bunch so clearly I can't use them as such in a journal but I have a few that are really just the flower itself and I fully intend on doing something beautiful for our journal so let me switch this <laughs> okay so if you want to see what I come up with how about we meet each other on the other side of the intro? Okay, so here are some ideas I came up with. Um, you do, for this video, it is how to create translucent pockets with the laminating machine um, but I did use my dried flowers to do all kinds of other things so of course at first I dried I put the uh, dried flower between uh, a laminating pouch I just purchased myself a laminating machine they're very inexpensive my machine was $33 and for the usage I am going to do with it I'm hoping it will be worth it um, this is really, really beautiful. I find that if you put this over, I don't know, like, see, it's just amazing. It's really gorgeous. There's so many possibilities. Now, you all know how I like transparency, like these little clear tags, and I don't think I showed the process for this, but it's, well, I've, I've done them before. They're, um, clear pockets like window pockets, if you will, so you can see through what you put inside. I think it's gorgeous. So I made with my own flowers that I dried, I made this. So same principle, I could um, anchor it to the page like so, and look how gorgeous it, it is once you see through. However, this is just a window, just like the little mushroom I just showed. It is not a pocket. So this is a window and then I made a tag so same deal I took something like so I cut it I made the frame and I put this was all made with uh, book uh, paper book page I really really love it I can I'll probably do a short video to show you how I did all this it's really really fun and I decorated of course as I always do <laughs> And uh, yeah, I did a lot of work in this. There's texture paste, there's, I glued some lace, and yes, I mean, I put a lot of it. Okay, so the other idea I had, and I was inspired by a video um, by a crafter called The Gentleman Crafter. So if you want to check it out, he was showing how to make um, clear pouches with the machine so I will show you in a few minutes how I did these however and you will see in the video and I will probably do do um, voiceover for, to explain the whole process um, there is mistake 
um, something happened in the type of flowers I put to try and make, you know, something like such. And the piece of flower got dragged and it ruined two of the other pouches and one of them moved. So it is a little difficult. It takes a lot of patience to place everything properly and not move anything. But I, I will explain the process in the, in the next few minutes when you see the video of how I made these. But the result is really beautiful when you manage to do a clear pocket. So this is the pocket and of course I, I couldn't just do clear pocket. I had to add my own little decorations, which I did. And then, let me open it up, just to slide these in. And then you have a clear pocket and you put your elements in it. I'm gonna put this the other way so you can see on the other side, like so. So you have a clear pocket and it's decorated as well. And I made another one here. This one I went a little further, if you will, in my decorating idea let me take the elements out so you can really see what's part of the pocket <laughs> and what is the elements okay so i put lace and that's you'll see the process i don't want to explain it all <laughs> and i put paper and one of my beautiful stickers that i also adore just because i knew the reverse would be blank if i didn't and now you have a clear pocket where you can put all sorts of beautiful elements. I like to put them like so, so that both uh, side of the pouch are busy, if you will, that you can see things from both sides, no matter where you turn, right? So there you go. Now you have a clear pocket where you could put elements. So these as well can be glued inside a journal. They could also be attached like we've done in, my, uh, in the journal I just showed. Uh, attached with a tab um, you could attach them with uh, let me grab something here you can make holes and put these fasteners here right and just put it inside a journal just like that it would be very beautiful there's all kinds of things you can do and I'm hoping I'll get a lot of use out of that laminator. So now you will see the 15 minute video about how I did these pouches. There are many mistakes. That was my first try at pouches. But if you want to see a professional do it, <laughs> you can certainly go check out the gentleman crafter and uh, maybe he can explain it better. Um, I don't think he, if I remember correctly, I don't think he put all the details in his. He was smart. He just did clear pockets. Of course, I had to complicate things. <laughs> but you know what? I do like the results. So I have no regrets. None whatsoever. Even if I did ruin two pockets. <laughs> hey, you know what? Next time, I'll do better. <laughs> so here we go. And now we're going, going to switch to the, uh, not fast forward, but it will be uh, with voice over. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm cutting a tiny bit off of the length of one of the pouches and the width as well. Um, in retrospect, um, I should have cut a tiny bit more just because I will place these pouches inside another pouch later and I find to avoid any movement, um, it's better to cut them a tiny bit more. But like I said, this was my first try. And all I'm really looking to do here is to have four pouches that will fit back into the main uh, uncut laminating pouch. Now there is one thing I found tricky is because laminating pouches are they um, how do you say slippery I don't know I don't have the other word for that so they move easily so sometimes trying to keep them 
from moving is a little challenging, but with patience, um, I am certain you will manage probably better than I did the first time. <laughs> so now I'm opening another laminating pouch, brand new and uncut. I've just gathered some double-sided tape because I realized the piece of um, lace that I want to apply to the top part of the pouch keeps moving and since this is clear and it's going to be under the lace I thought why not help myself a tiny bit and put a piece of um, tape So now I am putting the pouch, if you will, together before I slide it into the main pouch. Now I made a mistake the first time, whereas you're supposed to put the shiny parts because the pouches have a shiny and a more matte side, so the inside of the pouch, like the main laminating pouch right now that you see open the inside is matte and the outside is shiny the matte part if i'm not if i'm explaining this correctly is what will make the pouch like melt if you will and become translucent so as you can see right now the top pouch is shining it's because i didn't put it the right way but i will fix it before i actually put pass it through the laminator um and yeah because otherwise everything would have gotten glued together. <laughs> so I think I realized this on this one and that's when I said, uh oh, yes, yeah, see, I'm realizing I didn't. <laughs> because I guess I moved too quickly with the first one and I didn't remember which side I was. And then on the second one, I realized, uh oh, the first one is not right. So now I will fix the upper one and everything will be okay again <laughs> see i'm checking and i'm showing you matte shiny <laughs> shiny matte there you go <laughs> so you have to put both shiny facing each other that's what prevents your pouch from closing there you go so that's the second one now i will See, now I just fixed the top one. Now I will continue with the other ones. So here you will see me struggling a tiny bit to keep all of the pouches uh, aligned and have enough space because you have to remember the sheet here on the left will fold over and the thing is is it kind of tends to push on the left side and everything moves also because my pouches are so big it doesn't allow for a whole lot of space in between because let's remember that the pouches themselves won't glue because uh, that's why we're making a pouch in inside will be unglued 
So I do need space all around to cut once it's over. That's why I said at the beginning, had I known what I was doing, <laughs> I would have made my pouches a tiny bit smaller. So when you take your first laminating, laminating pouch out, cut a little more than what I've done because once you cut it in four to make your four pockets or pouches you'll have more space in between your pouches because once everything is passed through the laminator you then have to recut in four and you will see it in the video um, so you want to have some space otherwise one of your pouches might open because you cut the the side where it actually glued together um, so I'm, I'm not sure I'm clear, but maybe once you see it, it will be a little better. That double-sided tape really came in handy, as you can see, because um, I needed to make this element hold. Because again, it's very challenging already when the both shiny parts of the plastic are touching each other, then they make everything even more uh, slippery. And then you're trying to close the main pouch and everything moves again. That's why next time, I will trim my pouches to be a tiny bit smaller. I mean, I did manage to make two beautiful pouches, but yeah, next time, you know, it's, it, this is what, this was my first. So I hope, you know, you take this experience to help you out for your own project. And here I'm using my beautiful stickers, but this time they're not on the outside of the pouch. I mean, right now they are, but once I laminate, they'll actually be between laminating uh, papers or plastics. And I love it because it makes both sides of the pouch, you know, interesting to look at. So see what I mean when you put it in the left side, in the crease, if you will. Um, even if you try and put it in there, once you try and close the page over, everything tends to move and this is one of the pouches I absolutely destroyed by accident because those little loose petals you see on the right that I'm touching right now those are more like the I think you would say the husk of a grain and they're really hard I didn't think when I put it in there um, and yeah it, it they dragged all over oh it was a disaster <laughs> I ruined but and then so I ruined that pouch and the one that I'm touching right now because the grains or I, I say the grains but I'm not sure they like seeds yes like the husk of the seeds just drag got dragged out because they're too thick they didn't go in the roller I didn't think about that and they got dragged and of course they damaged the other pouch so the two pouches that are good are the one on top but it's okay. We learn. This is a first. Um, and you know, I did make myself, uh, I, I did make it a little more complicated. Had I gone with just totally clear, this would have taken three minutes and it would have been done. But, well, not three minutes, but still, you know, I had to make it fancy. <laughs> okay, so now it's going to be the laminating um, part. 
So when you move your sheet, I'm, you don't see the whole thing because my camera can only take so much angle. Um, just be very careful to lift your laminating pouch with both hands. Don't move. Don't breathe. Tell everyone in the house to stop moving. The dog has to sit and the cat has to lay down and sleep <laughs> because things will move and shift. <laughs> And so see, at first it, it started coming out and I thought, ooh, it's beautiful, it's amazing, until I go, uh-oh. And I can see the bottom pouch is all terrible. And I'm wondering why, and then I realized the seed husks have moved. But, you know, it happens. Next time I'll know and I will put things that are thin and that will move easily and won't, you know, uh, run the risk of damaging my brand new machine. <laughs> so now I'm looking at the two pouches that are damaged and clearly I will need to cut them. So um, that's exactly what I did. I first thought I'll do it with the scissors and then I got the trimmer out. So at least I have one gorgeous pouch. I'm very happy about it. Now I'm just trimming a tiny bit of the excess, um, but not too much. Remember, if you cut too close, you will end up cutting through the inside of your pouch that is not glued together, and then your pouch will completely open. Uh, open, sorry. And so now I'm just doing trimming, and yeah, I will have to throw out the damaged uh, pouch, but there we go. We have a nice pouch right here. I really, really love the effect. And so this is how you make laminated um, clear pouches. So I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this how-to video. <laughs> I'm always very, very happy to see um, all the comments and I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. And I always try and come up with a few interesting things so if you don't have time to comment, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So again, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.